So a conversation that I was having earlier with somebody that you could say is starting off in his business is, should he be posting content if he just started? Jose, I want to gain some more credibility before I actually start to make more content. I feel like I don't have what it takes yet to be educating anybody. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is who says that you have to be educating? And the second thing is you actually have to work on something else that is not necessarily relating to the experience within the things that you're doing. It's more related to the ego and where you're holding yourself and the standard that you're holding yourself to, right? You don't have to educate people when you're first starting out making content. I mean, you can talk about the things that you're experienced in and you can say, yeah, sure, that's a form of education. However, when I first started the videos that I was making and you can scroll all the way down to the first video that I ever made was something along the lines of how to get your real estate license or should you get your real estate license? It was one of those two titles, right? And I solely made that video because I wanted to grow a brand. I wanted to be omnipresence, right? When you start a business, what's the first thing that they teach you? Or this is the first thing that I was taught is marketing. You want to stand out. You want to be everywhere. You want people when they think about real estate, they think about Jose. That was how I was taught, right? When you, when people think about the internet, they think about Google, right? So it's the same thing. Well, what can I do to put myself out there that is not like I'm advertising myself as this person that knows everything or has done all these incredible things within his field. However, if I'm starting off, the things that I want to put out there is documenting the journey. Because as I'm documenting the journey, now I could personally even look back and get a good laugh at all the videos that I recorded. Take a look at my communication, take a look at my body language, take a look at how comfortable I was in the camera. I mean, now I'm over here smoking shisha talking to you guys. And that's the other thing that I wanted to speak about ego. Everybody wants to have this perfect, unrealistic picture of who they are and themselves. And at the end of the day, that's not who you are right? Who are you? Who actually are you? Convey your personality and convey what makes you different from everybody else. Because I'm not in the business of being this cookie cutter, cutter, political, political, correct guy guy that's that's over here going going to speak to to you guys like like a news news anchor. anchor. No, that's not me, right? That isn't me. I am a person that likes to have fun. I like to record cool shit, right? I like to document my journey. I like to educate on the things that I know, my experiences, right? I own a $10 million real estate portfolio. I could talk about that. I could talk about how I got there. And I can share some knowledge based on the business accomplishments that I've been able to to garnish it within my life. I could talk about physique because I'm in shape, right? I could talk about all these things. I could talk about the journey. Or if I was a fat piece of shit, but I was going to start to hit the gym, I could also document that journey. And guess what? Now they can serve me as receipts that I can there go ahead and share with my clients about what I did, right? Because if you don't have any documentation, if you don't have any kind of receipts, any kind of trail of, hey, what have you done, right? Yeah, you could be helping other people, but I I see that it's much more impactful when people can look at yourself and see how much you've grown and how much you've changed throughout the years and let go of the bullshit of having to hold yourself into this unrealistic standard that nobody really gives a shit about, right? At the end of the day, nobody fucking cares, straight up. So it's best for you to start to put content out there that's genuinely you, that's going to document what you're going through, what your challenges are, overcoming those things. Keep it fucking real because people want authenticity, especially these days where there's AI and nobody even knows if the person is saying what they're actually saying. I mean, it's it's crazy the amount of people that are out there trying to also preach things that they've never done. Like you could stick to the things that you know that have worked for you. You could stick to the experiences that you've had and you could stick to documenting the journey. And if you are afraid of going on the camera, a lot of the times people are afraid of going on the camera because they're insecure about certain things that they possibly haven't fixed within themselves, which could also be something that somebody else is struggling with. And you in the process of overcoming that could be value in it of its own for you to start to grow a following, for you to start to grow respect online, And for more people to want to learn more about you, support you, and possibly do business with you down the line. So there are so many endless possibilities and things that you can do to build your brand, to build who you are, to build your content, and also to connect with more people. And that's another thing that I wanted to speak about content. Content can allow you to connect with so many more people. I've done real estate deals because of the content that I put out there. I've made great friends. I've had people join my private network because of the content. They dig my stuff. They they value my philosophy. They value the things that I speak about and they want to learn more about it. So there's so many things that 
you can do with your content. Stop trying to be this guy that's trying to be this perfect square because everybody has those, you can say, rounded edges. Best way that I could put it is not everybody's fucking perfect, right? And that in and of itself makes the person perfect. It's how the person deals with his imperfections and how he's capable of responding to the world because of it that makes the person who the person is. That's what makes the content of that person's character. And if you're putting yourself out there, right, now you're risking what? You're risking other people saying things about you. You're risking other people getting inspired by you. There are so many things that could possibly happen. However, people usually tend to look at the bad instead of the good that can come from it, right? Yeah, people can make fun of you. People can talk shit. People can hate on you all they want. However, most of those people are too much of a fucking pussy to get on the camera and start speaking to the camera they themselves so you're the one that's putting yourself out there you're the one that's brave enough to have the kind of you can say content that could showcase what you're doing showcase your journey and inspire more people and i do genuinely believe that the positive impact that you can have on others will 100 percent outweigh all the negativity all the haters all the bullshit that eventually are going to i mean what can they say if they see you consistently growing it doesn't even fucking matter what they say actually it genuinely doesn't because they could talk about all these things and guess what they're still in the same position i posted a video on instagram that went viral a while ago right and everybody was fucking talking shit oh jose how dare you say this all this all that whatever i'm living in a bigger house now you know like my real estate assets are doing way better i'm just expanding i'm growing my business i'm in the best shape of my life my relationships are great my social life is great. I'm not struggling with the same thing that these haters are struggling with. And that's the thing that you have to recognize within yourself. These are the insecurities and the struggles of these people. And should they actually genuinely come out and say, hey, I actually want to learn about this. Hey, I actually want to better myself. They would be in a different category. These are the people that you're going to inspire. But guess what? There's going to be a lot of haters. There's going to be a lot of negativity. And that's also going to mold you into the character and the person that you need to be to develop the tough skin that you need to do more in life, right? Because it's the people that can't handle these criticisms, these negative comments that aren't going to be able to amount to anything in life anyways, right? Business is hard. Going to the gym and getting in shape is hard. Starting an interaction with a, with a complete random stranger and you've never done that before is hard. But guess what? It gets easier the more that you do it. You start to tend to pay less attention to all the negativity, all the stories that you end up making up in your head. When you start to post, when you start to now see how the world is actually going to respond to your message, going to respond to your content. Now you can start to pivot your angle and start to work with what works and understand that haters are always going to be there. They're always going to be there. But the connections that you make, the business that you get to do, the inspiration that you gain from helping other people overcome the struggles that you were overcoming and because you documented it, now you can inspire somebody else. The way that that feels, I mean, it's worth more than fucking money itself, right? So when you think about all these things, when you think about all the positivity that you can bring to the world by putting yourself out there, it's not something that everybody can do because again, everybody wants to hide behind their shadow and they don't want people to know them. They don't want people to be able to judge them. And I would say that it's those people that are unwilling to be judged that are, are going to amount to shit. Why? Because think about it. You go into business, let's say you get a sales job, right? My reference, because this is what I did. I got in the sales position, got my real estate license, started making calls. There were so many people that were afraid of picking up the phone and talking to somebody. Why? They didn't want to get cursed out. They didn't want to get rejected. They didn't want the person to hang up on them. These were all the negative things keeping them away from making a call that could potentially make them millions of dollars as it has made me, right? I found so many deals via cold calls and guess what? Still to this day, when I pick up the phone, I get nine no's, but it's that one yes that counts. The nine no's are, are gonna fucking impact my life, but that one yes could, right? So I think the universe has its way on testing somebody to see if he's capable of reaching that next level. And the way that it does that is by seeing if you're capable of going and enduring through the bullshit to get to that one yes, to put yourself out there, allow yourself to be judged, and guess what? People say that hate never comes from the top, right? It always comes from beneath you. And I agree with that because the guys that are doing well, they're going to encourage you. They're going to be like, yo, I, let, I love what you're doing, man. Keep it up. Or they're going to give you pointers as to how you can make your content better and how you can make your delivery better so that you can have a better experience and you can grow 
your content, your personal brand, your business, whatever it is that you're doing, you can grow that a lot faster, right? But you're not going to get to that point where people are actually giving you feedback, when people are actually connecting with you, when you're reaping the benefits of being out there, if you're not being out there, if you're just hiding behind your shadow because you're afraid of what people might say, or you have certain insecurities that you don't want to surface, fuck that. You got to take care of that on your own and document the journey again because there's a lot of people that are possibly going through that and are afraid of speaking about it so you can be the voice that can grant all these other people that are going through that same struggle to wake up from that fucking coma to wake up from that trance and say hey well this guy's doing it i had all these limiting beliefs as to why i couldn't do it but this guy's doing it shit maybe i can too right and then you start to connect with all kinds of people you start to impact all these kinds of people's lives and guess what the universe is watching god is watching whatever you believe in that holds the you can say righteousness and the ability to give fruits to those who are working hard they're going to see that and they're going to reward that right whether it's the universe god whatever you believe in right and that's how it's been like for me because no matter all the hardships all the struggles i've never been afraid to step up to the plate and say here i am bring it forward what do you got because now it provides me an opportunity to handle that and get to that next level there are so many positive things that you can do when you start to create content and i think that the best thing especially now because everybody's living on their phones i mean People spend more time on their phones these days than they do with their kids. It's fucking nuts, right? And it's bad saying it, but at the end of the day, it's fucking true, right? So if people are spending their time on their phone and you have a business, why not be on their phone, right? They're going to be on their phone. Might as well them you being on on their phone while they're looking or scrolling and they see you. Oh, shit. I see so-and-so's talking about this. I see so-and-so's talking about that. I see so-and-so's working on this, working on that. You know, before the internet, to be able to network with somebody and to be able to gain access or make a connection, you had to meet them in person or you had to be referred or recommended by somebody else. Now with the internet, you have your own vehicle to put yourself out there, to brand yourself. It's like before we had the internet and let's say, for example, the television, right? There was a television and the only way to gain some clout or gain some publicity or, or, or market yourself, you could say on a screen, was to get on a television. Well, now... You have access to that. You can make your own shows. You can talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about. And it could gain millions of views. It could gain millions of people that are now going to be inspired by your message and say, wow, I want to reach out to this guy. I want to connect with this guy. Perhaps there could be a mutual interest on us working on a specific business. It could be literally anything. Now, I'm not going to run circles around everything that I spoke about because I think that I said everything that I needed to say. Should you start making content? I absolutely will say yes. I think you should start making content. I think that the sooner that you start, the better it's going to be for you because that's going to now snowball into who you're becoming, the value that you have to offer. It's more genuine. It's more authentic. People get to see who you were and how much you've grown. People get to see who you actually are. And again, it's that authenticity factor that keeps being on my mind because I understand nowadays a lot of people are skeptical, right? With everything, everybody being stimulated and bombarded with all these different things. However, you have the opportunity to be the voice of reason. You have the opportunity to grow a brand. You have the opportunity to grow your business. You have the opportunity to be criticized and possibly learn from those criticisms and grow. You have the opportunity to be tested and test your mindset, right? Are you willing to quit because a couple of haters are saying something or are you willing to persevere and see it through and actually do what you came here to do and progress and be the best version of you that you can be? You can't get to that best version if you're not challenged, right? Even when I was running track, I'm glad that I had fast runners next to me because that only made me faster. If I had slow runners next to me, I wouldn't maybe try as hard. I wouldn't compete as hard and I wouldn't have gotten the times that I gotten may I may have not been the fastest on my track team let's say but I know that it made me better having other people along my side that were also competitive also willing to give me shit so that then I could take that and utilize it as fuel to empower myself and grow as big as I fucking can so that's gonna be my answer make fucking content document your journey go out there allow yourself to be judged and allow yourself to grow I'll catch you guys later peace